Did you hear it Yes. You know what this Sure. No, sir. Okay. Sure, it's good. Uh, corn wind and cool. Okay. I'll be in, uh, three times. Okay. First thing I, I need to do, Detective Kelly, obviously, you're the sheriff of Connecticut Police. Um, I'm just going to go over your rights with you. You want to speak with me about what happened tonight? Okay, I just want you to read your, you can read your own rights, and if you understand them, uh, just initial it, and then we're going to go down here quick and do the same kind of a thing, okay? See if the right to remain silent, you understand that. You can talk to the, any police officer, anything I say can be used against me. I have the right to consult with a lawyer before I answer any questions, and they have a lawyer with me during questioning. Pointed for me if I cannot afford one before I answer any questions. I know that if I answer any questions, I have the right to stop answering at any time. I may stop answering any questions at any time if I wish to talk with a lawyer. I may have him with me during any further questioning. And I'm willing to answer questions and make a statement knowing that I have these rights. I do not want a lawyer at this time. I know and understand what I am doing. I do this freely and voluntarily, and no threats or promises have been made to me. You understand those rights? I, well, I'm probably going to have to get a lawyer. Okay. So, so we're, we're not, we're not going to discuss what happened to us. Your address again? 1064 on Beacon Street. Brooklyn? Yeah, Brooklyn. Was high school completed in school? I got a bachelor's degree. Bachelor's. Reading right, obviously. Yeah. Just make sure that, that you can scratch, you can read that. You just essentially 
you're speak you're agreeing to speak to me. This is you. And I'll be thinking Kelly, I would identify myself as a police officer. You're you know, sixteen years of education, you can read, yes, and you can write yes. And you can just sign here. some of the texts, there's several pages. The text between you and the young female, um, can you just tell me what kind of happened from your standpoint tonight? You're in, I assume, at home in Brookline, and you're corresponding with this younger girl. Um, yeah, I, mean, I was just looking to meet her, and I know you're not going to believe me, but I honestly was not planning on having sex with her. I know the texts talk about that, mm -hmm. but it's talk. I mean, I, I wasn't planning on having sex with her unless it was bright and legal to do it. I don't know if I would have or not either, but I was not going to what do you mean by right and legal to do? No, I mean if if I if I she just she seemed like she seemed like somebody you know that was mature and you know somebody that you know that would be fun to hang out with and so I wanted to meet her and find out if if she was what I thought she was. So how long had you, had you been corresponding with? Three weeks, I think. And how'd you meet her? On um, a chat site. What was that called? Flyer Club. Flyer Club? Is that, uh, what is that? Is it uh, it's kind a of a hookup site or something? No, I think chat rooms, but I mean, I don't know if it's like the hookup site. There's just people there that are all have over you, the world. Have you talked with people before? Girls, guys, or? Yeah. On that particular site? Yeah. Have you talked to younger girls before? Today or in the last couple of weeks, rather? No, not that I know of. And what was the interest in this particular girl? Um, let, let, me, let me back up a second. Are you, are you married? No. Have you been married? Yeah. Divorced? Yeah. How long? Um, like 10, ten years ten, or more? 11 years, yeah. Any kids? What was the reason for the dissolution of the marriage? Anything made your issue with the ex-wife? No, no. Or she with you? No, it was, no, it was just a mutual breakup. And how about dating and things since then? Do you have relationships? Have you had any recently? Yeah, I mean a few here and there. Yeah. What was the last one? I mean, I had a short one over the summer, a couple months. How old was she? The adult woman. Yeah. Right. Have you, um, you know, met or chatted with or visited younger girls before? Younger, yes, but I mean, what's your? Well, I don't know. Younger than me is probably in their middle twenties. But from my standpoint, I'm a little bit older than you. But what's younger to you? I mean, yeah, I've dated girls in their thirties and in twenties. And I mean, have you? This wasn't, I'm sure, the first time you met a girl who was purportedly 12 or so years old, right? What would you say? I, feel like I said, I'm sure this isn't the first time you either chatted with or met with a girl who was, you know, supposedly 12 years old. I, I believe it was the first time that I know of. It was. Is that what you're saying? It was the first time. I mean, I don't know. You, you may have an issue or a certain fetish or attraction to younger girls. You probably do. Yeah, I've never, I've, I've never met, I've never gone to meet a girl that was a teenager. Never. And why tonight? Just Saturday night, it's driving from places in the Boston area, right? I just. 
nothing to do. I figured we'd just hang out, and I was just going to like drive home later tonight. You talked. I know in the text there was like some mention of like a marriage kind. I don't know what your if it's a religious thing or something else, but if what's the deal with the marriage certificate? What was that whole conversation? A marriage uh, agreement or a contract? Talked about. I know it was Joni at one time when I said, "Is it in the contract?" I was joking. Was there a mention of like bringing some type. Of, maybe maybe it was in jest, but did you mention bringing some type of marriage contract or something like that? No, it wasn't. No, bringing something. No. Did you no. mention having her sign it, or you signing it, or both of you signing it? I mean, I can go get the the, the paperwork. It's unfortunately it's a. It's thick, but there's some conversation about that. I just want to know. Yeah, there was conversation. Probably. There was conversation about uh, about that. Um, I was just explaining to her that people could get married by just signing a contract, that, you know, signing you know marriage do documents. I. So, but if you're talking about a 12 year old girl, right? I think you could, you could 14, probably even 14, but yeah, she said she was 14. But okay. She was 14? I know. It's young. So again, maybe I should get, get some of the, the texts that were both clear about what, what age she said, said she was. She said it was 12. No. No. The 14 is, is that, is that big of a difference then? Like, you're 44? difference is a difference to me. Because they're n neither are illegal, you know that. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. The age of consent is 16, which is, you know, in my mind, yeah, too young also, but I thought she might be 14. a copy of some of the text between the two of you. And this, you said you met her, what, give or take three weeks ago? I think so. You're talking about, you know, blowjobs and oral sex and going on in your life that we even have you, you know, going down this road. Maybe you've always lived like this. I don't know, but it's um, it's of concern, obviously, to everybody. You know, and forty-four-year-old guy you're talking about twelve-year-old girl, and in your mind, maybe she was fourteen, but it's certainly illegal and you know, horrible in most people's eyes. Right? And I said that. Um, you could probably read that in there. And you drive from two and a half hours away to see this girl? I didn't think it was against the law to, to you know, meet with somebody and just hang out and talk to them. But you, you probably, I mean, I, I don't know. You know Is it? Maybe. Is it? Just, just like hang out with somebody? To hang out. If I had, if I had sex with her, yeah, that would be against the law. But they okay, didn't do so that. Let's, let's just take a step back. So you're, let's just say you never divor got divorced from your wife, and you had a daughter. You said it was ten years ago, right? You were thinking you had divorced. So let's just say, as a result of that marriage, you had a daughter or a son who was ten, twelve, thirteen years old. And it's Friday night, and you and your wife, you know, hey, honey, hey, whatever your daughter's name is, Caitlin, we're going to run to uh, out to dinner and stay out a little bit late. You can stay at home and you come to find out, they walk in, there's a 44-year-old guy from, uh, you know, 200 miles or 100 and something miles away. Is everybody cool with that? You're cool with that? 
Well, obviously, at first, at first, no. At first? Yeah, when they first walk in, it's not going to be, it's uh, not going to be cool. But if it was somebody like me, I don't think there's a threat. But how do they know what your intention is? You're talking yeah. about blowjobs and picks? Yeah, they don't. Other issues? They're, you're not talking about maybe some common interest of music or sports, which is also, I mean, the whole thing would be weird. I think most, just about everybody would think, I think you actually would too. It, it's it's unhealthy and strange. Like a 44-year-old guy, what's he got in touch with, uh, in common with a 12 or 14-year-old girl? And why, if he lived in a big metropolitan area, would he drive whatever the distance was, two hours away on a Saturday night? Isn't that all speculation? To me, I mean, it's what's like the speculation? I'm looking at this you're, spe like you're speculating that I was going to have sex with her tonight. Because that's what you said. I didn't say that. You didn't say that? Well, well no. tell me what you said. Well, we talked about having sex, but that doesn't mean... Isn't that, that, but isn't that strange? It doesn't, doesn't mean I was going to. Tonight. Well, yeah, tonight. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe next maybe, week. Maybe when she's 16. So that, but where's that in the conversation? I don't know. It might be did you mention that? No, no, it might, it be, it might be in there. I mean, I, I, I mentioned that that I was looking, I looked into like the, the uh, laws and stuff about, you know, minors. I was looking into it. I was so why, why would you do that? No, because I was going to meet a minor and, you know, right. to hang out with them. So you knew there was an issue? Otherwise you wouldn't research it. Yeah, but does it, does it, well, I mean, there's an issue if you do this and this and this. But because, and you know, this is this is just I, I was looking, you know, I was just like looking down the road, you know, like let's say I did like her and she liked me, you know, why not? I mean, but this is somebody you've never met before. I know. I was just I was just thinking out loud, looking at the, the big picture. That's all. Doesn't mean I was going to like do what I was going, to, you know, what I was. Whatever. Is that is that is that like your you know lack of a better description like your cup of tea like you want some very young girlfriend or bride no. so is that like some fantasy you no. have no. which is fine if that's what you have, your fantasy is. I just want to no. know where you're coming from you know? I feel like I'm to particular to her and she happened to be this is through all like you know chatting or texting right exactly somebody you never even met correct so f for the sake of talking it could have been. It wasn't, but it could have been me tech posing as this girl. He wouldn't know who you're talking could about. Could have been, yeah. Could have been. It's not like you saw her or spent time with her. Well, that's why I came down, is to, to see if I had a connection with her. If, if, if you, what was your name again? It's Detective Kelly. If, 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 if I... I mean, if you read all the text, I don't know if you read all the text. I did not, and I probably can't digest them all right now, sure. but I'm, I'm starting to try to look here. I'm sure. Good. But if you if you read a lot of it, mm -hmm. the exchanges between me and her, I was always um, aware and scared of any consequences if I was to do something wrong, like if I was to have sex with her. I would, I, I, and, and to be honest, yeah, of course, you know, like from what I saw, she's, you know, beautiful and everything, but I, I was not going to risk, I was not going to risk anything by having sex with her. I just wanted to meet her and hang out with her, and I was going to go home. You were going to meet her and hang out I with can't her? Trust any, I can't trust anybody, and obviously now, you know, even more so, but. Um, how do you think? How do you think we and she feel? Well, see, I, I, I get it. I, I get it. You know, you guys. We're trying to protect the innocent and the vulnerable, right? Yeah, but just I, like when I you were that him. age and I was that age, you wouldn't want some guy, you know, attacking he's, you. If he's dangerous, yeah, I, of course not. Or, or maybe he just has bad intentions. When you were twelve or fourteen years old, if there was some guy in your life or appeared in your life who's in his forties. And is talking about having sex with you and different things. Isn't it your parents and the police and the school system's job to kind of protect you from that person?
and sometimes if you're not being like totally honest with your parents or you know community people we are, we are the only alternative sometimes we have is to do like sting type operations like this but we never catch anybody because you're not going to tell anybody you're so paranoid about it you're researching the statutes because you know it's wrong right Right, and, when and I'm sure in here there's probably conversations with and a I girl think. about you didn't tell anybody about this, right, or something like that because you're afraid of the kind, and you didn't go when the parents were home. If it's if it's wonderful, then yeah, if your parents are home, that's great. I'd love to meet them. No, your parents aren't home, right? Kind of thing. They're away. They're not coming home. Whatever. Are you with me? Yeah, I'm with you. Yes. Just and I think this probably goes back a long time. This did not happen overnight. I'm a little bit older than you. You know, whatever my, you know, makeup is, physiologically and emotionally and every other way, it didn't start last week. So you probably have these fantasies, desires, uh, interests, probably your whole life, actually, or until you came, you know, became an adolescent or something. Fantasies about what? I'm assuming young, younger women. And maybe as you got older, like you wanted to stay in that realm, like oh, the younger girls, I like them better for whatever reason. You, I mean, you would have to tell me what the attraction is. Uh, it's never happened before. I've never. But we're talking like 12 years old. It's like sixth, seventh grade. You know what I mean? It's, I a, know, it's a young I human being. I keep saying 12. Well, you, you want me to use your term and say 14? I, I mean, I know that they're both young, but it's a little bit, yeah, different. Is it, is it being a teenager? Is that the big hump that you need to hear? Like, okay, she's a teenager. She's 13, she's not 12. She's 14, she's not 12. That's two years older. Yeah, still two years under the, the age of majority, right? Certainly not you know, worldly or mature enough to consent to anything, right? It doesn't have the legal right to do it, never mind. Because why? Because they're very young, so they need to be protected. Can I ask you something? Sure. Why, why, if you thought I came down there to have sex, why didn't you wait and see if that happened? Why would I want to put that girl that was in the house through any kind of a horrible experience that why? could get really out of hand really quickly? Okay, I get you. No offense. I got you, buddy. There was like... So I don't having several sex. cops there and other able-bodied guys, right. you'd be in probably some kind of pain at the end of it because if you've got maybe your clothes up and you're trying to grab her, we come in not knowing what you're capable of. Course. of. I know. Well, we're not doing it like a, as much as we can as a gentleman. You're seated. Chris Hansen speaks to you. You're free to go. You know, you, you, you comp you're compliant. We were, you know, didn't throw you on the ground or anything. We handcuffed you. We brought you in. You know, I mean, why would you want to take it to another level where it's horrible? And she has to go through that, what, several times because there's several different guys like yourself that are coming to meet her? Would you want to do that to anybody? Like, honestly. No, I just... Put her, even, even the hug. You're, as soon as you got there, you're trying to hug a girl that you've never met. No, that's not, that's not true. You know. I don't know. Well, maybe it is. I mean, I understand from your standpoint, you probably want to, but from her standpoint, you're a total stranger and she's... Probably a little freaked out by it. You know, I mean, so cool with everything. I just wanted to hang out and, you know, have pizza. I mean, I honestly, that's that's why I was there. I, I just, my, my, you need, you need to, my case, okay, for this is, is obviously there's, there's a lot of text there, yeah. but there's, I was trying to do things or, um, you know, make it so I wasn't breaking the law if I decided at some point that I wanted to, you know, have any relations with her. You know, I was trying to make sure that it was legal. Otherwise, I wasn't going to do anything. I'll, get, I, I'll explain that a little bit. If I, if I, you know, came down and, and I liked her, she liked me, and right. she was cool, and I felt, didn't feel like she was, you know, 
too immature or too young or too, you know, the same, I felt like I was on the same, you know, level as her, like, you know, emotionally and whatnot. I mean, I wanted to, you know, I, I didn't want to do anything that was breaking the law. So that's why I researched that stuff. I would never, I mean, that's like ridiculous that you guys thought that I would bring down a, or bring a contract down. Well, I, I, we were going, I believe, through your, you're, your you're exactly, interpreting, I don't know. You're interpreting, you're interpreting it, but I mean. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe we are, I don't know, but I also see that you're mentioning that a 44-year-old guy shouldn't be talking to a 13-year-old girl like this. Right, and so, so that's I your, felt your, guilty your, about your, it. Your yeah. language, not mine. I felt guilty about it, yeah. And you, you think you might be on the same wavelength as her? There's plenty of you know young people I see on TV that are pretty smart, pretty mature. Thirteen. They're out there, yeah. No, there might be. I don't know. There, there could be a couple out there. I think either they're, they're they could be mature, but maybe they look like a little kid, or they well, that's the only thing could look there. older, but they're very immature. It's see, I don't there's a reason these laws are in place, right? I mean, to protect people. Right, and I said that before. Which, meaning what? But I'm still. At, you kind of expounded on it before, but you're like, oh, I want to do things, whether it's so in case I did have feelings for her and I liked her, like it would be legal. I don't know what that means. She's still, let's just say, 13, because you mentioned 13 right here. So how does that still make it legal? I don't know. She said, well, she said she was turning 14, but okay. Um, how does it make what legal? The, you, you just said that. How would it make it okay if you're going to do things with her and she's 13 it, and you ultimately had relations with her it would, in her course? How does it make it legal? It wouldn't unless her mom consented to um, marriage. It's the only way it would be legal. So you're going to you're going to marry a 13 year old girl with her mother's permission? Maybe when maybe maybe when she's 16, I would do that. How is that, why is that like so hard to believe? Uh, why is it hard to believe? Yeah, that, 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 that can I, happen. I can't say I've even never heard of it. Actually, if I want to, if I want to like, maybe in other countries it happens. Not to not break the law, that's what I would have to do. You would marry so her now, I haven't broken the law. before she's 13. Yeah, I haven't broken the law. I, I, I mean, so that's the thing, it's all like you're speculating what I was going to do. Based on conversations. No, 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 you also drove here. You didn't just like have chats that you're bad enough. So what? You actually drove I two drove. hours. You're like basically my age. You drove two yeah. hours to meet a girl. Most guys. Yeah, you're, you're putting it all together, all right? Most guys, boys. Most guys, no, most guys younger than us, our age, older than us. If given the opportunity, right. they might get in the car on a Saturday night and drive two hours if they think they're going to find. Uh, you know, something that feels good at the end of the rainbow, but are they gonna, just going to do most it to so maybe meet somebody? Most guys? So you're saying most guys, so it's like... You're driving from Boston. You're saying most guys. Right. That's not me. Well, what are you? you? Tell me who you are, because based on the text and the, and the behavior you exhibited, I'd say you, you fit right in there. You just happen to like them much younger than what's normal. Maybe. Or, or illegal. Maybe I enjoy just, you know, talking. Talking about it. I don't know. I mean... I mean, I, with a, I with a thir 12 or 13 year old girl. That's a problem. I don't know you. I never saw you before in my life. That's a major league problem. It didn't seem like it. it. Didn't seem like what? You seem, just seem more mature than that. More than, you know. Compared to what? Like a 28 year old woman? Like a 17, you know, 22 year old girl? You're talking about a. 12 or 13 year old girl and she's what acting like she's 18 yeah so what she still tells you she's 13 years old you're 44 I mean seriously that's a major league problem according to the law it is but according to what you it's not head, in my head in your head, knowing, knowing what I was there for, knowing that I was not dangerous, that I was not a threat to her, that I was not planning on having sex. Not planning on having sex? What, right. if, what if you just happen to meet a girl that is like, 
you know what, for whatever reason, she's only 12 or 13, but man, she is a, she's a pistol, and she's all over you. What are you going to do, push her away? Yeah, if I know I can go to jail, I would. You would? Oh, yes. And why did you bring the Cialis? You know what, that was in my car. I don't care where it was, it was in your pocket last time. Yeah, I didn't want to leave it in the car. And I said, what's in here? Just the, I believe it said like CVS, either ibuprofen or something, something like that. You're like, yeah, that's all it is. And then we, we researched and it's this. Uh, right, Cialis right. Stuff. Sorry, I just. You're not got, even, you're sorry. Not even, like, why aren't you telling the truth? I just, got handcuffed. I just got handcuffed. I, you know, I, I don't even remember answering you, to be honest with you. But. But no big deal. But it's not like you had some other medicine, like, I don't even pick out of the top of my head that's, like, completely unrelated to any kind of sexual interlude. This is, like, right up that alley, right? It's. Correct? It's so the chat, that, the drive, the Cialis, yeah, no, the it, fact that for some reason you think that this is like some innocent meeting between a, a, a mature 12-year-old and you. I carry the Cialis around. I just do. And, you know, sometimes I leave it in my car, and I just didn't want to leave it in the Does car. Does it belong in a prescription bottle? No. It doesn't? No, that's smaller. I usually carry it. I have other pills, too, that I put in there. You don't, you don't see a problem with any of this, like, honestly. I didn't say that. Well, so you see a problem with it? I see a potential problem. Do you have, like, what? nieces, nephews, whoever in your life, in your family? Yep. I don't know their ages, but maybe some are around her age. Honestly, detective, I did not think I was breaking any law to come meet a girl. I honestly didn't. If you look at, read the whole text, read everything, you can see how how scared I was to meet her. Just, just you know, listen. Just the whole scared of the whole situation. What I, I, you're you're scared of her for basically basically one reason. And the reason is that your clear intention was to have sex with her. Because if it truly was just to meet somebody, you wouldn't even be nervous about it. You'd be like, screw it. I, I have no interest in having well, sex with this girl. It's a situation. I'm chatting. I, I, my right hand to God, and I'll swear to the parents, they could be home for that matter. I'd love to meet them too. And my intentions are pure. Your intentions were not pure. That's why you had the reservations you had, right? It was a new situation, too, and I've never done it before, so yeah. But you're 44, and she's also know 12, that, 13. That, that there's all these laws about, like, you know. Thank God there are, right? About minors. What that, if there weren't? Listen, I, I know what I'm capable of. Right. Okay. Yeah. And I know you think that I'm bullshitting you. No, you're, I mean, you're, trying, to, you're trying to, like, kind of massage the corners, but, you know, do I, do I think you're realizing and being honest with yourself and with me about what you did? No, I don't, actually. But, I mean, you're, you're talking about it, and I appreciate that, but you're not... Because if, you, if you truly looked in the mirror and thought about what's going on or what you did tonight... That's just because I don't feel like I did anything wrong. Well, if, if you want to if you want to keep it in the, in the straight and narrow and say, all I did was come here and bring her a pizza... Yeah, I mean, any uncle, any neighbor, any guy could certainly do that, any softball coach, whatever, as long as it's kind of like, you know, the parents know and there's nothing creepy going on. Yeah, in and of itself, is that fine? Sure. But if that softball coach or whoever it may be is texting all, think, all kinds of things about having sex with the girl and her pussy and ba 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 and send me a pic and everything else, and you're only 13, and I'm 44, and then you research the statutes, and you drive two hours on a Saturday night, and you bring Cialis with you, and there's a reference of a marriage contract, because that'll somehow make it legal. It's fucked up. Honestly. Like, be honest with yourself. You don't have, you can try to bullshit me all day long. It doesn't really matter to me. Every, most of the people that I talk to aren't exactly honest. But if you ever want to get well and maybe get past this point in your life, and not be back here sometime in the future, I, I, or somewhere else for that matter, or in a bad place. I agree. It's not something that 
Like seriously. That's what you're doing, and I said that. Yeah, I said that's that. That's a problem. Maybe you your first that first you kind of thought about this was probably a correct one. Like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, this is wrong. I shouldn't need to research a sat- statute to see if I'm able to hang out with a 13-year-old girl and talk about having sex with her. Uh-huh. We're not talking like senior in high school or something. We're not in a sixth, seventh grade, right? Not You're 40. Not, not tonight. You just said before, you, you if things worked out and you ended up having relations, you wanted to know kind of like it, it would it. be illegal. Right. Well, that's what you told me. Yeah, you wouldn't do it unless it was legal. It wouldn't do it. So the Cialis is just, eh, we keep it just in case. And I'm driving two hours to meet a 12 year old because I'm sure she's got a wonderful conversation and she's really interesting to, to chat to. You have a college degree. If where, was, where do you work? If I was, if I, if I wanted to, if I was planning on having sex, I would have, it would have taken the Cialis at home and just left it there. I don't know. For all I know, you took one already. Maybe you took one at home and maybe you brought another one in case it was a, a phenomenal night, right? Or for tomorrow, if you slept over. Yeah, I mean, I told you I had it in my car. I, you know, I, I rely on it when I had my date girls and stuff, so. Because I have issues with that, so. Um, how about, like, I mean, I know you're doing the texting thing. Were there any, uh, you know, younger girl kind of adolescent pornography either at your house or in your car or anything? Images? Computer images, phone images. I'm gonna look at my phone now. Right? Did you send her pictures? Yeah. Of? Yeah, me. Such as you. Like what? Dick pics? No. Naked chest? What? Let's see. This is of her or just you? No, it's just like pictures that are on my phone. I sent her a random picture today. Just like put a picture of myself with my bone shirt. With your what, bone shirt? Yeah, at the bottom. Who's the girl, September 16th? Friend of yours, girlfriend, whatever? Yeah, it's just somebody that I was chatting with that sent me pictures on the same site. Did she send you any pictures, this girl? Who? Oh. Uh, the girl from today. No. Um, oh, yeah, she has. Naked? No. Not naked? Never asked for anything naked. So this is in your underwear, which is fine, but is that going, it's not going to her? I've never asked, probably never really been asked. I actually sent that to the girl I was dating that was 41 as a joke. Whose dog, yours? Mm hmm. With her kids. But if you if you took yourself out of it a little bit, like right now, I think, I mean, I'm sure you can understand why not only it's illegal, but it's just like flat wrong that anybody our age would be doing something like this. I mean, you're looking at it as a puzzle book, like it's not a big deal. No, no, and I, you know, I don't even know you, but I, I feel bad that you're not somehow comprehending it. It's like so wrong, it's not even, it's, you can't even discuss it. And if you actually think it's okay, no, that's not what I'm that's con- or even kind of okay, or situationally okay, it's like you need serious help, honestly. You really do, because that's, that's just fucked up. You're not saying that it's okay, I never said that. I was saying what that, is that my intentions were, were what, pure? My intentions were, were never to violate her other than being in her presence. And that's something that, like, obviously it's like a back and forth that you guys would never know. 
Because you're not inside my head. No, I know, but I'm going by the only way I, I know you is I'm going through the, the chat. No, I know. Your actions today, I know, what yeah. you said. Like, what am I supposed to go by? Something else? You know what I mean? Like, how can you judge me other than what we're talking about right now? You know, like, I thought, like... You don't know me either, right? So. How do you... When, when you... From what? I have no idea what this is. What kind of a... How do you... Video, I guess. How do I what? So when you, when you catch these, uh, whatever you want to call them, uh, sex, you know, you, set, you, you catch these people... Uh, meeting with young with minors. Yeah. Um, like we call you. Right. So so you know you got me in, in the house and, mm -hmm. and everything and I I just like I, I had no idea what was going on. Um, you always do it like that. Always. No. There's all kinds of ways things I mean, like this come to come to come to light. There's times when. Something like this happens, and there's times when a, a parent calls because my I just caught my 15 year old daughter or whatever texting some guy who says he's 30, come to find out he's 44 or whatever, and um, you know they want the guy arrested for statutory rape and. See, know, I thought it was against the law to have involved. sex, to actually have sex, and then like let's say I had sex tonight, and then somebody found out that I was with her, and you know they did some sort of. Uh, well, why Why would we? Want to wait until that happens? I don't know. I mean, I it's kind of like saying, "Well, wait till the guy like robs the bank before you move in." No, if we if we have probable cause to believe that these guys are about to rob a bank, why am I putting the freaking tellers' lives and innocent people in in jeopardy? Or in this case, the girl in the kitchen with a hat on. I'm gonna let you grope her and feel her up and take your clothes off so that what? I have a stronger case. Okay. Fuck that. This you know what I mean? It ain't happening. This is, this is, you know, the problem with society, you know. What's the problem? Um, that law enforcement looks at, well, all kinds of people just think that men are pigs and all they want is sex. I never, I never said that. That's, that's what you're, that's what you're making out, that's what you're making it out to be. You're, you're basically saying that it's not, it's not Listen. humanly possible for me to, to, to hang out with this girl and not have sex with her tonight. I didn't say I didn't say it's not humanly possible. It's certainly possible that you could have drove down here after you had this sexually kind of charged discussion, and maybe you're respectful. Maybe you're like not some really aggressive guy. She says, "Well, I'm not feeling it tonight." And you're like, "Okay, you know, I'm going to come back another time." But really, your intention was Cialis. A lot of this discussion. Marriage contract to make it legal. Why would I wait till? How am I going to take this and do this for? I'm going to do this for months and months and months until one one night, God forbid, you you like actually attack this girl and nobody's there to protect her. No, but you're you're making you're making it sound like you talked about you know a shared love of uh, music or something or something else. Yeah, certain a lot of stuff. And he also talked about sex with a 12 or freaking 13 year old girl. It's fucked up. Sex is a part of life. People talk about sex. One second. Hey, Kevin. Who's that? Oh, yeah, I don't care. You're trying to interview right now. So. You get Chuck or something in the interview. I'll do whatever you want with it. Okay, okay. Thanks. Oh, what are you talking? What are you talking about? No, I don't care. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah, it matters. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. I mean, bounce up a Tony or something if you want. I could care less. Thanks. You know what he's talking about. Yeah, but I mean, honestly, it's a, it's, it really is like a, it's a, what's your passcode? 4172. It's a serious, it is a serious problem you have. 
because you're still kind of acting like I would. We had, we had a guy earlier today. He's in tears and shaking because he knows it's wrong. He's he feels like emotionally, mentally, you know, kind of unstable. Totally apologetic. Similar situation, and um, but at least I, fe I felt like he was kind of owning up for his intention maybe not necessarily today listen you're you're acting like you're still trying to turn turn me to say no no we're just gonna hang out what's, what's the big deal right because that was that was my true intention so i can't i can't what else am i supposed to say with the cialis yeah right yeah yeah, yeah cool yeah with the, i know it's hard to believe with the sex chat with a long drive it it's not like bad. you said hey well, listen, bad. I'm dressing up really nice. I'm going to take you out for something to eat. That's looks cool. It's just still bad, and I still wouldn't really believe you. But hey, you, you come in with a pizza. You want to hang out home. Parents are at home. Make sure of that. Well, and the first thing you do, you want to give her a girl a hug. You know, you're not going to If the parents are home, they would hang out with her. Parents are home. But you that's said why, that's why I wouldn't come. I mean, of course, course. It wouldn't happen. They right. wouldn't let me in. Right. Why? You know why. I, yeah, we both know why. I just and, want you to know why. And I'm well aware of it. I'm, okay. well, I'm well aware that it looks bad. I'm well aware it looks bad, I'm and well it is aware. bad. It's not just like, hey, we're jumping at Again, conclusions here. This guy's a great uh, SAT prep guy. He's working with this girl with the, for the... Uh, I wanted to see what she was all about. I honestly was not planning on having sex with her. That is fucked up. Oh. You want to see what a 13-year-old girl is all about. You don't. You still don't see that as like being an issue. I can see how it is an issue for most people with a smartphone. Most people might say at our age, hey, the girl's like 26, 28, whatever. A little on the younger side for us, but hey, I want to hang out and see what she's all about. She's 12 or 13. 17 year old boys aren't even interested in her. You with me? I know condoms are what I'm planning on having sex. But you had Cialis. I always have Cialis. Okay, well maybe you do. Maybe you, maybe you travel with it all the time. But you know, you put these things together. It's not like we're we're making a big leap here. You know what I mean? But you're still shaking your head with your yeah, hands, your arms are crossed, and you're kind of wondering like, "What? Well, this is great. I just wanted to hang out with her." Because that's the truth. Even if, even if that was the truth, me which I don't, me which I don't believe. Not lying. It, it's all kind of a cup of water. second just to maybe get back to your home life. Do you live what you have an apartment in Brooklyn? You live there by yourself? Yeah. You, what do you do for work? I know there's a mention of Cheshire, Connecticut or something. Premium auditor. It's a insurance auditor insurance policies. So they're based in Cheshire where you you work or live in Yeah, I mean I work out of, home or out of my house, but I mean I have clients in Boston, yeah. Good people all over the place. And, you know, you spent a lot of time chatting with this girl. Obviously, is there, you have a computer at home, I imagine. You have, uh, you go to different chat rooms and talk to different people. If, if those, if we looked at some of those things, would we find other younger girls that you're speaking to? Is there a common denominator? Uh, no, you, I don't think you would find a common denominator. I'm talking about like age of a, of a female. That's my common denominator. No. So you, you don't. No. I mean, even what's the, the youngest girl other than this gal that you've spoken to or chatted with recently or in the last couple months? Or uh, you focused on age, and you have to be focused on age here. But they're all ages, 21 and up. I mean, I, I but I've never had. Why not like 18 or 17 or? 16? Just didn't, I was not looking for that. 
This happened. This just happened. And then how, did, how, did, how did this jump out at you? How did it happen? Yeah, well, how did it jump out at you? Like, why, why would you be so taken with thank you? With a got this thanks. Water for yeah. thanks. I guess that what was so special about her, in other words. Like I said, it was just some, you know, she was somebody that I, I thought I was able to relate to and, and you know, we have a conversation with. Not everybody that age, you can do that with. What can you tell me about her? Well, I'm sure everything I tell you about her is probably, is probably not true because... Well, what, no, uh, granted, but what do, you, yeah. what do you know of her? That maybe, you know, if I heard it, I might be like, wow, she must be kind of special. Um, well, she just seemed, she seemed smart. And she seemed like, you know, mature. Um, you no, know, it made me talk about hockey. She was she said she was a big hockey fan, and so am I. And, um, I don't know. I mean, just she just seemed chill and like to hang out and stuff. And, and I don't know. I can't. It's like you tell me again. Tell me when she went to a certain, uh, you know, middle school, high school. She was going to the high school. She had uh, an ex boyfriend. She had sex with him once or twice. Uh, or, you know, single mother, parents are in the house, siblings. You can't tell me anything like that? Well, yeah, no, she said she lived with her mom, yeah. Well, what, what, what's her mother do? Where's her mother t- supposed to be today? Yeah, she said her mom, mom was away. The, you know, where? Is she possibly coming home early? No, yes, maybe. I have no idea when she's coming home. You didn't ask where she was going? No, I think she's, like, away somewhere in business, so somewhere far. You didn't inquire where, though? If I was going to be careful to the point I'm going to research oh, she said Dallas. and know where, she said Dallas. how much trouble I may or may not be in, if things, as you said, like either got out of hand or you had relations, I would assume you'd know where the freaking mother was so that you don't want her walking in on you, right? She said she was in Dallas. Okay. Now, what's her mother do? Do you know what she does for work? She said she was in financial services. Anything else about the girl that you were chatting with? The home life or the school or friends or No, I mean she said she just moved to Connecticut. Where did she move from? California, she said. You know where? You ever talk about having her come to meet you somehow, or was it always this way where you thought maybe I'll come see you? Yeah, talk about it. Did you ever plan on meeting her on previous occasions, maybe outside of the mother's purview, like maybe at a coffee shop or store or something? Not that I, not that I recall. No. No. I guess. She said her mom's going away. That was like an opportunity to meet her, you know, to hang out and meet her at her house. Do you have any hobbies? I do. Such as? Play tennis. Um, fitness. I like to work out. I'm addicted to football. Do you any coaching or anything like that? Do you volunteer in any respect? Teach tennis? No. No, I just play. Ask the kids. I don't. No. Play Friday night. Have you hooked up with any younger girls recently? No. 18, 20, whatever? No. Ever? The last 10 years? No. You can check it out. You won't see any of that. Check, check what out? I'm going to check out. I don't know. You guys can... Probably check out anything you want. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. So you have what do you what do you have at your home? You have computers, I imagine, or one or more than one for work or yeah, I guess personal. Work computer and personal. So what type of sites have you been on? You went on, I guess, this one where you met her. Yeah, I mean, I, I use that site sometimes on the board. Another site, uh, Mocha Space. 
Who's that? A password again? You said four one oh two. What she inherits, by the way. For like messages. Bailey. Bailey. So I just go back today while I was looking at this, so it'll probably make it easier on me. How long have you been planning to see her today? I mean, before today, was this like in the work for a couple of days? Or? I actually just made the decision today. If you look at the text messages, it was it was talked about, but I didn't, I hadn't committed really. Because obviously, I had apprehension about the whole thing. So you did more research today, just found it out that you'd have to get more a written consent by her, her mom to get married under 18. Fuck. I got in frustration, right? I have some ideas on this. can talk later. Okay, still want to see you. Yeah, want to see me. Fuck yes, yeah, so I can get around a mile. Let's get a pizza. Your address. You got booze. I want some vodka. Can we drink, can we drink it? She's 13, right? Listen, no, no bullshit. And I'm probably doing you a favor. You've probably had a major league issue with this for a long time. And I don't know that you were going to rape her tonight. But you certainly were preying on her, right? 13, she's 14 years old. Are you going to drive down from Boston? You want to drink with her? You got a Cialis in your pocket. You may have one in your system. And you want to bang the chick, right? I wasn't planning on that tonight. You weren't going to? Nope. So even if she wanted it, you're drinking, you feel good. You got to be horny, right? You haven't had a girlfriend in a little while? I would not. I was not going to do it. Why? Because I was too scared. Of what? Consequences, you can see I've said it a lot in our messages on Skype. I said you're you're going to drink with a 13 year old girl while her mother's in fucking Dallas, Texas, or whatever you said before, and you're worried about consequences? Like, seriously. Yep. I'm serious. We're adult men, dude. Talk to me. You can't be serious. See, then you're. you're no, I'm being serious. You're, 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 you're bringing that up again. You, you, you're basically insinuating that. No, because I'm, I'm, I'm not 22, and you're not 50, and I'm not 50, and you're not 20. Like, <laughs> I'm 47, so, like, we're in the same realm here. Yep, I understand. And you're going to drink with this girl who you know is how many years under the age of, you know, being able to consume alcohol? Seven, eight, depending on what age you're, you're talking about. Yeah. And you have Cialis and the whole sex, t- you know, texting stuff going on. It's like, I mean, seriously, just own up to what you did. It's, you're trying to still kind of keep it over here, and it's not there. You're not doing yourself any favors the more you act like that. I mean, if you want to get past this and get well and not be in this position someday, probably in another police department or worse, if somebody ever walked in on you or you hurt some girl who, again, is 12, 13 years old, just look at yourself in the mirror and, like, think about what you're, you're talking about. Listen, I know. You can cross your arms and hide all you want. No, no I You know what? I know. You weren't going to touch her. No, no, I know that it looks bad. It is bad. It is bad. It, it, it's not bad. it doesn't look bad. It's, it's horrible. Yeah, the whole thing. The whole thing is bad. But my intentions were not to have sex. So you're going to drink with this girl. Who, like, how much alcohol could, could she have drank in her let's, life? Let's take a, so she's going to act how? Probably like a basket case. Let's, let's take a uh, lie detector test. That's going to prove what to me? I don't know. I mean, they're a fucking let's sociopath. Let's go to court. Like in court. I don't no, know. Let's go to court. And, I mean, I would, I would swear in court that I wasn't planning on having sex with her. You weren't planning on having sex with her. Right. Maybe, maybe you didn't plan on having sex with her, but it would have happened if... That's, I disagree. I am still disagree. Why? Why? Yeah. Again, let's go back to this whole thing, remember? Just hang out. A companion, a friend. Seem cool. 
I don't think there's anything wrong with like hanging out with somebody to get your dick that cold. You want, you want to go? How could she be cool? No offense to any, any girl that is that age. Well, She's I talk cool to, her. to you. I talk to her enough. Yeah. Yeah. To, to figure that out. I'm not denying that that looks that it doesn't look bad. I'm not saying it's not it's terrible. Really. It is terrible. Yeah, it's terrible. It's, terrible, it's terrible if I have sex with her. I agree. It, it's terrible that you're willing to drink and put yourself in that position and come down here probably for the intention of doing that. Right, and I can't control myself. You don't think I can control myself? Have, have a drink, have a drink, and have some pizza and. You don't think I can control myself and not have sex with her? I don't know you at all. Right, you know I, I would say you probably can't control yourself since you got in the car on a Saturday night and drove all this way to meet this girl you've never met, you chatted with about sex and pics and yada, 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 and getting married and getting her mother's consent so you can have sex with her so it would be legal to try to you know, circumvent the law? You think that's normal? No, it's not. I didn't even told her that. And you almost light up like you're proud of that fact. Oh, it's, no. it's disturbing. I'm not proud of it. It's, it I'm, I'm, I'm acting this way for several reasons. One, because I'm probably too much shocked to realize this is even happening. I feel like that I'm dreaming right now. I'm not even sure this is real. Um, and... Two, I know what my intentions were. And, and you could say that. And maybe, maybe some of what you're saying is accurate and true. I don't know, but because because I I wrote on you know, on Skype, I wrote all these messages stating that I don't want to have sex. I don't want to have sex if it's going to be against the law. How can you not interpret that as you know as as me trying to obey not me not trying to obey the law? How can you interpret that? How can I interpret it that you're not? The, the, girl, the girl is 13 years okay, old. So keep going back you, to that. You wanna have, you're trying to, I'll, I'll be blunt, you want to be able to bang her, and the only way you think you're able to bang her and have sex with her is by getting her mother to sign a marriage a marriage uh, application or right. certificate. Which is, That's the only reason. You don't even care about the mother. In fact, the only reason... You're at the house is because the mother is 1,500 miles away. Right, and I realized that 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 is virtually would have been virtually impossible, as it should be. Right. But God forbid it happened all the time. Where, where would our society be, right? All these creepy older guys would be going after these what middle school girls. I don't. I don't, I don't look at Fucking it. Fucking sixth or seventh grade, and that's who you're attracted to, and she's like. You said she's mature and she's got, you know, she's really smart and she's really... I don't think I was going after her. I mean... Well, you can drive and she can't, so she's right. not coming after you. Well, but she's pursuing me, too, online and... Yeah, with this little adolescent brain and, and um, intellect of hers, right? And you're, you're a guy that's my age, basically, and you've that's been to college and yeah. you've worked for 20 years and you've been married and divorced, and this girl's like what should have been maybe a product of your marriage, like a young girl, 12 years old, 13 years old. And you're, and you're kind of... So, I'm sorry, yes, it, it looks awful. It just looks say it is awful. Because I'm saying it looks awful. It is awful. It's kind of pissing me off, actually. It doesn't just look awful. No, well, it pisses me off. If I walked into the library and you were leaning over my daughter's shoulder, talking or come to find out you're, you're teaching her something about computers and everything's... It looks awful, but maybe it's not awful. Maybe I overreacted initially. This is fucking awful and disgusting, actually. Period. You're a dad. Reverse it, and I'm you. You'd probably want to strangle me, right? Most likely. I want to bang your daughter. Most likely. Hello? Yeah, you would. You'd probably be over the table like trying to kill me right now. Not most likely either. Like, absolutely. You have a serious problem. And until you, like, admit it, you're not going anywhere. You're not going to get better. You're not going to... This stuff's not going to go away. I don't know when really? it started. You need... Really? You don't think this is enough 
for me to realize that. I don't think you can help it because you keep on going like yeah. this and saying, well, you don't know what my intentions were until you like admit the truth of I what, you, what your actual intention was. You wanted to have sex with a fucking 13 year old girl. Not that's why the that. contract, that's why the mother comment about the signed contract, no, all those things. It's the only reason. Not tonight. Doesn't make a difference if it's tonight or tomorrow. I just, I'm being honest with you on this. I wasn't planning on having sex with her tonight. You weren't planning on having sex with her tonight. How many times have girls said that about a date with a guy? I wasn't planning on having sex with a guy, and oh my God, he was so handsome, okay, and so it was really apart. nice, and you know, you're picking you weren't planning on it. I wasn't planning on, like, stubbing my toe, but I did. what I'm saying. No, because you're not being genuine. Like, be truthful. Just say, if you said, I was not going to, there was no way in hell. I was dropping the pizza, having a slice, well, and saying, yeah, I'm on my way to New York. That's what I've been saying the whole, all along. Is, is that you wait until the mother's not home, you get to see all this, and blah, 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 blah. you're talking about alcohol with a girl who's 13? That's a great idea. Let's drink with a 13-year-old. When are we going to have sex? Just, uh, Even if she starts freaking out and dropping all her clothes, you want no part of it. I believe that one. I don't, by the way. Of course you don't. I know you don't. Seriously, dude, come on. No, that's hard to believe, because, you know, most guys all they think about is sex, and that's all they want is sex. Yes, we talked about sex, but that's, I was not going to have sex with her. I break the law. Okay. Um, and that's obvious from my text messages. You're still, you're still caught up on this. You're looking for an angle so that you wouldn't have to break the law, correct? If it you're, you're not like not doing the deed. If you want to, you want to somehow circumvent it so that it would somehow be legal or okay in your mind. Yeah, well, okay, okay with everybody, right? But that, that was your intention. It wasn't like you, oh, whoa, whoa, I gotta wait till she's 16, 17. I'm not touching this poor thing because she's only 13 years old. That wasn't your motivation. It was like, I want to bang her. I gotta get her mother, mother to sign to, her over. To be honest, I had nothing to do tonight. I really just wanted to like meet her and then okay. figure out, some, you know, later what, what you know I was gonna do. As far as you know, all that other stuff. All right. I mean, you, you're you're painting me to be a, like a an evil person that doesn't care about anyone's you know well-being, and I'm admitting to you that that it's it's wrong. If you, if, you, if anybody who hears a story like this is going to think I'm doing something wrong, even you, 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 even you thought so. If they don't know all the facts. Well, you thought so too because you researched the law, right? Yes, I was I was like researching stuff for things that I wanted to know if I did this, what would happen? If I did that, what would happen? doesn't mean I was going to do it. I just wanted to know what the, what, you know? What, what would the ramifications be if you served her alcohol? What are the rules? And she got hammered at home with you. Is that cool? Well, did, you, did you circumvent that? Yeah, I wasn't going to let her get hammered. You're just going to have a little vodka? Yeah. Yeah? Like a drink. Who are you in her life to even say that's okay? Well, no, I'm not going to, like, take the... I'm not going to be, like, you know, forcefully take the bottle away from her. I'm just to say, let's have one drink, you know? Have a drink, you know? People, they, they have a drink. You know, they hang out and have a drink. It's pretty normal. She's 13. She's probably had many drinks. She said she's 13. She said she has. Do you see a psychiatrist or anybody? No. You do it for what? OCD, depression. What do you think? Prozac. Does that help? I'm not sure. What's your OCD? What's your, what are you fixing on? I honestly don't want to get into it. Because that's probably what we're talking about? No, I mean, it's personal. So what? I don't talk about it with anyone. It's really, it's just, it's difficult. So, I mean, I, I went to an OCD convention last month. I mean, you know, work, I'm trying to, like, you know, work on my, my issues. And it's just, it's, it's tough. I have, I have. If 
feel for you. It's probably horrible. I, I just I go through it every day, and it's, and it's tough. And, um, sometimes, you know, I, I want to do things to distract myself, and, you know, so I don't have to go through it, because, like, it, the OCD happens a lot when I'm by myself. Happens much less when I'm with people. So, especially if I'm having fun, and I figured I thought that it was tonight was that a fun night, and you know, I'm gonna have to deal with my OCD or depression or whatever. Do you do you fixate on either you know porn or girls or younger girls? Is that ever the focus of your no. No. You sure? You're kind of closing your eyes and shaking your head as if it is. Tired. Yeah. It's never happened. Okay. I've never pursued a girl that, that, that age. Is there anything on your phone that might, uh, you know, show us any <laughs> other younger females that maybe you communicate with, whether it's texting or calling or anything else? No, I mean when you say when you say young females, yes, I mean I, I talk to females, you know. But what's a what's a young female, younger female, other than Bailey? What's Kim? Who's Kim D? She's forty-two. Maria Chesley, ex-girlfriend. The six one seven number here. Who's this? Client. Client. Three one five Brian. I know who's I know. I know my Oh, well, he's my uh, psychiatrist. Kristen? Friend. How old? My age. Nine one seven. I have to see the if it, if there's no You said it. your VM wasn't set up. I looked into the case and was closed. Oh, it's a book. It's a door. Yeah. Mom and dad. Chris. Yeah, it's a So if you had your druthers, would you typically go for a girl that's age ages of the primary? No, but you, you you tend to be attracted to maybe girls that are more like te teen teen like or teeny boppers. No, that's not true. No, I'm just asking. I don't know. It's not true though. Because like you're not. Maybe you are. It's not. I mean, like I'm seeing last couple of girls that I've that I've dated. Actually, the last three have been my age. Were you happy with them? Were you not satisfied because you were looking for something else, like a younger type? No, I was happy. Girl. I was happy. But they just, you know, for whatever reason, they just didn't work out. I mean, there was no sexual issue with them. Everything was cool. They were attractive, whatever, to you. Correct. Okay. Um, do you have any questions for me? Uh, yeah. What do you? What did you arrest me on? Like what? Well, since nothing really happened, it's criminal attempt. Right. So that's what I'm. And I think you signed the form downstairs. You should have. You should have seen the charges. But it's criminal attempt at sexual assault, first degree. Signed what form? Well, the, the, the yellow. Uh, we call them the UAR forms. Yeah, there's four sheets. Yeah, you said that. That was. I was assigning that. But they have. They have your charges on there, on the bottom. You didn't see your charges? No, I thought it was just signing. I just thought it was just signing that I gave him fingerprints. Okay, well that's not exactly the case. You're arrested. They're felonies. It's criminal attempt to commit sexual assault first degree. I would never agree to that. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter if you agree. You don't have to agree. That's what we're charging you with. All right, but I'm saying like I would never sign. You're, you're not signing either. that you're guilty. You're signing that you ha the information on the sheet is accurate. And then you charge me. That's what I'm Well, saying. yeah, but it doesn't matter. If you didn't sign it, would it change anything? No. It doesn't mean like, oh, he doesn't admit to this. Okay, so what were the charges again? 
cr uh, criminal attempt to commit sexual assault first degree, because you obviously didn't actually engage in that, but we believe that was your intention, enticing a minor, and risk of injury to a minor. You're shaking your head. Yeah. But, like, honestly, because there's not a, there's a mirror in front of you, but there's a reflection. Like, if you really look at yourself and think about what occurred, I think you're probably a very bright guy. I imagine you might be. But you're still in this weird funk of, like, denial. Like, eh, it's not, it's not what you think. I wasn't going to do that. Like, truly look at yourself and be like, I fucked up bad. I tried oh, to say I fucked up. up. I, 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 no, there's people that maybe get caught in the, the wrong place at the wrong time, whatever. No, I fucked up by coming down. No, you fucked up by contacting a 12-year-old girl, dude. 13-year-old girl. I never... I never coming coming here was just like one, one arm of the whole thing, one little tentacle. If you're texting a girl who's 13 about getting laid with her, getting her mother to sign a marriage certificate, and I'm being redundant... Drinking alcohol that her mother has a bottle of vodka. Those are the fucked up. The whole point of you even communicating with the girl is fucked up. Never mind the rest of it. It's not just coming here. You know what I mean? That's just the end, the end result. You know the, the finality part of it. I guess you say but the fact that you even communicated with her. If I was talking to a girl that I ever found out she was. At my age, like less than 20 years old, I'd be like, "Honey, good luck in your, you know, in your search and your chase, whatever." But it ain't happening with me. You know what I mean? And you're talking to a girl you know or think is 13 years old. That's a problem. But until you actually like admit that to yourself and be like, either it's the OCD that got the best of you. Maybe you're depressed, maybe you just needed to hang out, you're lonely. There's all kinds of reasons. We all have excuses for all kinds of behavior. I can make, make up stuff, too. Maybe some of it's true, but it doesn't excuse, again, talking to a, a child and trying to have sex with her. And when you say that, Honestly, I don't think it's fair to say that. You, you put it put it in your words how how tonight should be looked at by. I understand that how everybody here would think that. I understand that. You would think it too. What do you do exactly? You're an insurance. I would think that. You would know it. You would do a report on it. And be like, this fucking guy <laughs> is trying to bang this chick like tonight. You know, you didn't come down three days ago when the mother was home. You didn't come down during broad daylight. You came down on a Saturday night, booze, Cialis, yada, yada, yada. I didn't search your car, but, you know, there may, who knows, there's something else in your car. You know, a lot of guys bring condoms and different things and stuff like this. I don't know if you had those, but um, your mother could sign, so it won't be an issue. Come on. Just, just please. For your well-being in the future. Like admit it to yourself and, and digest it and get help for it. You know what I mean? I know, it's I, like I, 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 it's, I, I've learned a lesson. It's, it's sick. I learned a lesson. It's not just like, eh, you're on the fringe. It's a little questionable. No, this is like horrible. You know, this is like awful. I, I, I you, you have a view. You think it's awful. Um, I think it's it's bad, but my intentions were good. My intentions were never to have sex with her. Never? My intentions were not to have sex with her. When? Unless it You said it before. Unless it was perfectly Maybe legal. not tonight. Unless it was perfectly legal. We'll never risk that. So regardless of like the I mean, fact that she's that age, if there was some weird loophole in some, you know, uh Older, it, older law that we could get, get some, right. some <laughs> relative to sign something or do something. Okay, now it's legal. She's still fucking 13 years old, dude. If, if we fell in love with each other? I'd Are you really at that level with this chick? Is this like kind of... I said if. Are you, aren't you no, jumping no. like way, way, way ahead? 
Yeah, just I always think that way. Always you want to get her drunk tonight, basically. <laughs> you did. Man. You did. Blah, 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 blah. Come on, we looked at your phone. Right? Well, yeah, it says that, but yeah. I didn't say. It doesn't, doesn't, doesn't mean doesn't mean we're not going to just have one drink. See, again, you you know you, you're you're assuming all this she's stuff. Thirteen. You're assuming all this stuff. She's drinking vodka. You didn't say, well, we could have a little sip. And who are you in her life, anyways, to even talk about that? Come on, just. I don't want to go round and round with you. It's getting late. It's kind of frustrating. That's all, I was hoping you'd come sorry around to like the side that is like kind of you know right, and maybe when you looked at your, what you did tonight, you'd be like, "Holy!" Can fuck I just say I something? I, of course, I'm, I'm not an idiot. I understand. I don't think you are either. I understand. That's why I'm surprised that you're you're kind of stoic. Like, no, no, my intentions were pure. Were well, like, I'm just being honest. But listen, I understand. Yeah. I understand that there's it's a lot of wrong. There's a lot of wrong here. I understand yeah, that. Totally. And you are the adult in the equation. It's not like you're, you know, 15 and she's 12 and like, eh, you're, you're, you should know better. You're 44. Look, listen, like I Go said, ahead. like I said, Pastor, I know this is wrong. I know that it looks awful. Yeah. And if I was to walk out of here right now, I'd, I'd learned a nasty lesson. And that never to like even go near this again because it's not worth it, no matter what the intentions are. That's what I've learned. I mean, I'm scared shitless right now. I'm not showing it. Maybe it's just my personality. Mm-hmm. A lot of people think I'm, you know, some people think I'm cocky. Some people think I'm confident. But whatever. I mean, a lot of times I'm not. That's my personality. I, I know I have. Yes, I'm lonely. I mean, I, I've had trouble, like, you know, meeting people, you know, just, <clears throat> so, yeah, I go online and I talk to people. It's like something to do, something, a lot of people do it. I talk to other people about that. About what? But why they talk to random people? Because I want to know what other people are like. What, what are they, you know, well, I don't, I don't have, nobody has an issue with you. You're all consenting adults. If you're talking to random people, by yeah. all means, do what you want to do. She was the only one I happened to be, yeah. But all happened to be what? Young. young. Young? Yeah, like 13. Yes, too young. I not be, not I like I shouldn't be talking to her 17 or 16. I get it. I shouldn't be talking to her. I get, I get, it's, I get you're it. just not digesting that whole part of it. Like, it's how wrong that is. You're just still kind of like, well, you're lonely. So, yeah, everybody's got a song and a dance and say, oh, you have OCD and I'm lonely, I'm depressed. And, okay, fine, but she's 13. You can, you can, you can be your, if you are, and no offense, like lonely and depressed self at 44 and I know try to cope that. with that as an adult person in society, right? And medication and other avenues and you got to buy insurance and a good job and, and you're, you're going to prey on a 13-year-old girl? Well, I know. And give her alcohol to fuck her? <laughs> to make yourself feel better on a Saturday night? Like, seriously, that's what happens. I just about guarantee it. So, you say what you want. I don't want to argue with you. No offense. I don't want to argue with you. You believe either. what you believe, supposedly. I'm not sure if you can do. And I kind of know what I know. And that's it. But your, your charges, I told you about your charges. I'll show them to you downstairs. And if they didn't talk to you about Bond yet, maybe they didn't. Uh, we'll talk about Bond with the lieutenant, and um, you know that's kind of it for this moment. But if you have any questions for me, because we're just kind of going around and around, you know, it's a little frustrating. Yeah, I'm sorry it's frustrating for you. Well, it, it'd be less frustrating, and I'd feel better about you in the whole situation if you were like. Oh my God! Did I fuck up or what? Like that was horrible. I, yeah, I probably did want to get laid. Sometimes, whether it's the OCD or depression or both, get the best of me. I was focused on her. Nobody else is. Whatever. I don't put words in your mouth, but like something like that. But do you see how fucked up this is? You know, Jeff. Oh my God, I do, and I gotta get help. And but you're still acting like your, your intentions were pure, and you really aren't gonna do anything so bad. That's just not true. I'd give you the benefit of the doubt if I thought there was a benefit of the, and the, there was a doubt, but there isn't. At the end of the day, nobody got hurt because we stepped in. I don't know that 
this has never happened before, where you were successful in your conquest or whatever you want to call it, but at least today, like, we were able to step in, you didn't get hurt, she didn't get hurt, because she, you know, we were there, but if we weren't, a 12 or 13 year old girl would probably be cocked right now, and you'd be, as an adult man, doing kind of whatever you wanted to her, with her. And her mother's not home till whatever tomorrow or the next day. I mean, if you see in the note, in the, in the notes, I, I wasn't planning on staying over. I told her that. I told her I had to go home because I have a dog, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I, I, I wish I had, I wish I had more text about, like, about that stuff. But, I mean, it's just not talked about yet. There's probably, <laughs> there's probably a lot of innocent texts. I'm sure there are. Like, most of us, we have, got, like, stupid, you know, just kind of random little thoughts and things. But when you're talking, again, with this younger girl about... Yeah, having sex with her, and it's just, it's just, I don't know how you, you try to defend what your intentions were, because I just don't think they were. Yeah, that's defensive. Yeah. Why would I tell her all of the ramifications? I could go to jail, blah, 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 all this stuff about being like a minor. Why would I go through all that telling her that if I didn't, like, actually care about it? I do care about it. You care about getting caught. You don't want to get caught. No, yeah, no, I care about because I can't. I don't even know if I can trust her. You know, right, so you're let, you're warning her to not tell anybody. Well, even saying that doesn't mean anything. I mean, well, like, otherwise you wouldn't say it, right? No, but like it doesn't it really. In the end, it doesn't mean anything if you don't know somebody. You know, sure, I mean, she could be blurting out to everybody on Facebook, but you were telling her for self interest to kind of protect your own ass. Because you know it's wrong, and she may or may not know it's wrong, but you're telling her it's wrong, and you can get in a lot of trouble, so you're kind of warning her, like, keep it quiet, and... Yeah, but I also know, detective, I also know that this type of thing, if I was to go through with, with this, like you think I was going to do, I also know that just because she says that she's not going to tell anyone, I can't take her on her word, and that's why I wasn't going to have sex with her. I wanted to meet her, and that's it. And All right, so, the, 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 so it, me, but. Nah, no offense, I really don't, but no, no. if you drank some vodka and you, you limited her to her intake, or supposedly, and she got a little bit drunk, and her mother got upset tomorrow with half the bottle of vodka's gone, and she rats you out, or the mother goes to the phone and finds out that you were over, you're okay with that? That's okay? No. Getting a 13-year-old drunk on a Saturday night? No. And you know what the second allegation would be, right? No. The mother's going to be like, this weird guy from Boston came down and fucked my daughter, and I want to do a rape kit, and I want to arrest it. And right, that's bad. The daughter's going to say, no, we didn't have sex, and you're going to say, no, I don't know what you're talking about, and we have to do this whole thing. In reality, maybe it did have sex. And we think, I wouldn't be charging you if I didn't think that that was your intention, just so you know. So you can charge me based on it. You've charges. already been charged. Yeah, those yeah. three charges. Criminal attempt. Because if we weren't in these positions in that house, and you actually had that girl, like you had a real girl, and you came down to meet her, yeah, we believe that that was your intention. Yes. To have sex with her. Not to kiss her and give her a hug, but to have sex with her. Okay, it wouldn't be here otherwise. All right, that's understand. our intention. I understand. I mean, that was that's our position. So, um, anyways, I don't want to, you know, again, go round and round with you. Right, and I, I don't want you to think that I, I that I'm just not taking this seriously. I think you're taking it seriously. I just don't think you're being honest with yourself. No, you know, it's, you're, you're not unique in that. A lot of people try to. I'm admitting, yes. I mean, I agree to all that. We, we talked about having sex, and we, we talked about... Are you a virgin? Like, why, why do you give a fuck if this girl's a virgin if you're not going to have sex with her? Which, again, we've already gone around and around. Like, I know what your... I, I believe I know what your intentions were. But it's like, are you going to ask the, the 13-year-old girl that? You slept with one guy more than once, a couple times. I'm surprised. Like, I don't want to do that. Most girls at your age are virgins, so I'm, I'm impressed. Who would do it? What? Who would do it? Okay. I, I mean, I guess I 
they, they can't say it any differently. And, and I know I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't have been talking to her, and I regret that. And that makes me feel a little better. I never Initially, you're like, I shouldn't have come down here. No, you fucked up when you started talking to her. Yes, that's wrong. You're right. I shouldn't be Period. talking to her. I shouldn't. And be, then it only got worse from there. I shouldn't be tempted like that, you know, to, to come down and yes, to, you know, you're, I know you're saying that one thing leads to another and, and you know, the sex can happen, but I'm being honest and I'm being honest when I say I was not going to have sex with her. I wasn't going to risk, I was not going to risk going to jail. Not today, right? Supposedly, maybe not today. I wasn't making that decision right now. Was me, I wasn't going to make that decision. I was just going to meet her and see if I even liked her. Or she liked me. I mean, that's, that's really. What well, if you hit it off and you have a glass of vodka or whatever, orange juice and vodka or but something? I said, but I just she's said. She's cute, and you're like, get the house to yourself, and you got a Cialis burning a hole in your pocket. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I'm telling you, I went in with the mindset that it wasn't going to have sex with Yeah, that, that's, that's great. That's yeah, the I, mindset. I, because I'm, I'm going, going, I'm going to chance. places. I'm going to places with a good mindset, and the shit. Shit goes upside down within a minute, right? Yeah, because a lot of people don't care about circumstances. I know you did, and you researched it and everything. Right, I care about it. I don't want to like, I don't want to go to jail. So I mean, why risk it? Why risk my whole life? I didn't think going down to meet her and just like see if I liked her was going to be an issue because I had no bad intentions. No, it's it's open for debate. I know it's open for debate. It looks bad. Yeah, it looks bad. I agree. All right, listen. We we probably beat this dead away. I know we have around and around, around, but listen. I understand. I'm glad why. you talked to me. Listen, I appreciate it. I understand why you think. I I get it. I get why you think my intentions were, were different. I get. Because you think it too. No. I, I get it. Yeah, as you should, as everybody should. Period. No, no big deal. I don't even know you. You're probably like a decent human being somewhere in there. And made really bad choices. Why would I? Why would I lie to you though? Why would I lie to? Because you can't face the truth. That's the reality. I mean, it, I could, it could be a combination of the OCD stuff. Do you think? Do you think if I walk out of here right now uh, that I would do this again after all of this? Today? No, whenever. Yeah, if I, if I walked out right now, do you think I would do this again ever again? Right away? And whenever? In my life? Probably, probably not right away. Do I think you'd do it eventually if you didn't seek some type of help for it? I, really? Yeah, I do. I don't know one guy, I know, maybe guys I know do it and I'm unaware of it, but I don't know anybody in my personal life or professional life, in, even in their 20s, that would talk to a 12 or 13 year old girl <laughs> about anything <laughs> other than like coaching soccer because their daughter plays on the team. Not nothing doing. sexual, there's no texting, there's I'm nothing creepy. You, I'm just asking you what you yeah. think of me, like do you think that I could control myself and not do this and uh, do you think I've learned a lesson? You just told me you have OCD so bad you went to a convention. You apparently can't control yourself at certain times, right? Yeah, no but, offense. Yeah, but OCD is, is unrelated. Whatever. Maybe it is. I'm not a doctor. Maybe it's not. Maybe there's there's other issues. It's unrelated. Med- I can control the medication. Well, could you control yourself with this? Well, I can control myself by actions. I can control my actions. You drove down on the fucking the mother's going and you wanted to get get her drunk. So do you think do you think that I would do this again? After all of this, after like all this. Oh, I'm gonna say I hope not because I don't. Again, I don't want to argue with you. You don't think I get you? Don't, you're insulting if, me. If, you're, if you would do this, you're insulting me. If you would do this up until t- this is tonight. This isn't like six months ago, right? This is like right now, tonight. Do I think you would do it if for some reason? You got out of this, and there was some kind of weird, you know, hey, Jeff, you're all set. Don't worry about court. No, no problem. All those charges are dropped. See you later. Do I think you would do it again? Yeah, I do. I'd probably just, just about bet my life and career on it, actually, because I don't think anybody would do that. And then, do I think it's the first time you did it? No, I don't. Okay. Because that's just... If it is the first time, it's almost more bizarre than if it's not. Because if it's the first time, what what the fuck drove you to do that? Or I would understand it more if you said, yeah, I always kind of like like the younger teenage girls, and this girl's a little younger than most, but eh. you know what I mean? But you're actually acting like, well, no, she was pretty cool. I want to hang out. I'm like, that's just to me. It's it's I can't wrap my head around. It. Again, knowing girls of that age, I know what they look like and act like. Uh, 
other than texting, like stuff like, hey, there's a game tomorrow, make sure everybody's there or something, that ain't happening. You know what I mean? I'm not asking for uh, your virgin or whatever, all the other stuff we've already covered. So until you recognize that and like kind of accept it, doesn't mean anything. There's the, the guy that's looking at you right there in yeah. the little reflection. Yeah. Then you're never gonna get well either. You can't. You can't. You can't take me at my word when I say. I don't know that yet. I've learned. Oh, I'm sure you learned. It probably sucks. Yeah, I'm sure that in that, that respect. Yeah. I wouldn't want to go near this situation. You wouldn't want it. Do I think you can control it? Really? You don't think I can? Really? No. Because why would you do it if you could control it? As soon as you found out she was. 12 or 13, whatever is in dispute here, you should have been like, peace, I'm out of here, good luck with the uh, teenage boys, or whatever. Instead, you continue this whole thing for yeah, weeks, I was wrong to do and that. drive from a major metropolitan area where there's probably, to be crude, all kinds of women, let's just say, and you're coming down to Fairfield, Connecticut to meet this 13-year-old. It's hard to meet women where I am, but I know it's just another story. You, you, you get my point. I know your point. There's millions of people in the Boston area, the people that are transient and regular. If I really permanent pray, people, I really wanted to pray on 13 year old girls, why wouldn't I just do it up in Boston? Maybe you do. Okay. I don't know. I see. Okay. I don't know, right? You don't know, know me, I don't know you. So I'm assuming that, you know, this is the first time possibly, but do I know that? No, I don't know that. Um, so my question is. Yeah. Can you tell me the bond, what bond is? I actually don't know, but when I walk you downstairs, I'll find out. Okay. Um, what's, I mean, what's the next, what's going to happen? Well, there's going to be a bond, and either you're able to post the bond, at which point you would usually get a bondsman and get out and have a future court date. I didn't see what they gave you for a court date. If you can't post the bond today, Saturday night, we keep you till Monday morning, and we bring you over to the court in Bridgeport. At which point you'd be arraigned, and they'd either, you know, continue or keep the bond at that level, or they would drop it down, or maybe in the meantime you made arrangements to post the bond. Does that make sense? So if you can't post the bond, you're going to be in our custody from today until Monday morning, and you could actually remain in custody, even though you go to court that day, depending on the bond. But if the bond is doable for you, you would get out and return to court, like say in two weeks, to go to your first court date. Which would, would be... That would be like, a, yeah, that would be down here in Bridgeport next to, next to Fairfield, and that would be like the, your first court date of probably several regarding this. I'm not trying to beat you up. It was a horrible decision. I hope it was the first time you ever did this. It was the first one. Yes, it was a horrible decision. But it, it, it's... I guess it just had it's, a... It's terrible. Had a, like, and you, you'll, you'll get it at some point. No, I, I, don't, I don't know you, but... I know. I you, you'll be like, holy fuck, what did I do? I have already, as soon as that guy walked in, I said right, that in my head. It's just, but... Um, yeah, I don't know how the, I don't know how the bond thing works. So. I'll find out what it is when I bring you downstairs and just, uh, you know, you can make a phone call at some point and see if you could raise it. If you just want to sit quiet for tonight, we put you in a, in a cell with a, a blanket. You go to bed, we give you breakfast in the morning, we keep you tomorrow Sunday, we keep you all day. Till Monday morning, we bring you to court. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm just worried about my guy. Well, I mean, depending on what the bond is, but... Um, if I can't, I mean, I don't know. We'll see what it is. I guess. Usually, have you ever been arrested or in any trouble? No. Never in your life? All right, give me, give me two seconds. Let me just grab somebody, and we'll uh, go downstairs, okay? Can use the bathroom? Yeah, I'll, I'll let you do it. Let me just yeah. get somebody towards the ground.